Ever feel like your computer's stuck in a binary rut? What if we told you there's a third way, literally? Welcome to the world of trinary computing. Today, we're ditching the ones and zeros and building a computer that thinks in threes. Trinary logic uses three states, minus one, zero, and plus one. It's like turning a two-lane road into a three-lane autobahn. More options, more elegance. Balanced ternary has the potential to make computing faster and more efficient, if we know how to use it. Here's what you'll need to get your trinary beast up and running. Don't worry, these aren't alien parts. You can find most of them online or at your local electronics shop. Just don't forget the caffeine. We start by building trinary logic gates. These bad boys handle 9 is 1, 0, and plus 1 like it's second nature. With clever wiring and voltage control, these gates can switch states with surgical precision, way cooler than flipping binary switches. Memory matters. So we build cells that store trinary values, think three-color LEDs instead of just red and green. This lets our computer think, remember, and eventually compute. This is where it gets real. We've loaded a basic trinary program. Watch how our circuit responds to data in three states. This isn't just blinking lights. This is the first breath of a new computing language. Trinary computing could change the game in fields like AI, quantum-inspired systems, and devices where power matters. It's early days, but hobbyists like you can shape the future. Ready to build your own trinary rig? Drop a comment, hit that like button, and share your creations. Who says computing has to be binary? The revolution starts in your garage.